welcome to Daily Dispatch powered by HSBC. I'm Priya Shade and joining me on this very interesting conversation is Sandeep Agarwal from Droom. Thank you very much, Sandeep, for joining us today. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the company. It's a lot of exciting times for Droom. The company is filed for an IPO. Uh, lots of excitement and activity out there. How has the last uh, year been for you at Droom? Thank you, Priya. Thank you for having me. And uh, yes, uh, things are very, very exciting at Droom. Um, you know, we started the company eight years back, have come a long way as a pure play e-commerce, B2C for automobile e-commerce. And, uh, and especially it is more important in our category because for 140 years, automobile were not bought and sold online. So cracking the code on automobile was so much more difficult. Uh, things have been uh, very, very nicely shaping up for us. We filed our IPO in November of uh, uh, last year and going through the, you know, the, the set guidelines and process. Uh, but in terms of business, it has shaped up very, very nicely. Uh, you know, we have grown very, very rapidly. Uh, after the first wave of COVID where uh, in India, there was a almost lockdown for four or five months. During that time was the first time in our seven year of history that time we saw some deep growth, but after that business has come back uh, bigger and better. So, uh, so you know, uh, uh, happy to share any specific metrics, uh, but you know, we have been growing uh, in triple digit growth. Uh, business is, uh, you know, uh, uh, very rapidly growing uh, and, uh, uh, you know, we have uh, emerged as the uh, largest platform in the automobile technology side. Right, uh, Sandeep, I want to talk a little bit about the kind of trends that you've seen evolving. And in 2022, uh, I'm sure a lot of these trends are going to be, uh, you know, coming to uh, their peak. So tell us a little bit about what kind of trends have you been seeing shaping up in this space? Sure, absolutely. Uh, so, uh, Priya, this is actually, uh, maybe uh, it was more pronounced in 2022. Uh, but, you know, since COVID happened, if you very large trends have uh, like have emerged in our category, number one, uh, people no longer prefer ride sharing and they prefer owning an automobile. This is something I'm sure everyone can relate to. Second is people avoid public transportation. And again, they prefer owning an automobile. I think COVID in a very harsh manner reminded the benefit of owning rather than shared economy. Last one decade with the web, web 2.0, the world talked a lot about shared economy. It has its own benefit. But with COVID, the biggest trend I would say, people prefer owning automobile versus ride share. People prefer owning uh, automobile versus public transportation. Third is, uh, you know, unless it is a must have category, while this may subside somewhat, but unless it is a must have category, people avoid crowded places or physical interactions. So e-commerce is our natural, uh, uh, you know, has seen ra more rapid adoption. And fourth is because uh, you may have heard about chip shortage. You may have heard about India implementing BS6 fuel emission in line with European fuel emission standards. And because of uncertainty in the economy, I think these three drivers are causing used vehicle becoming more preferred versus new. So these are the right. some of the things, uh, these are the some of the trends uh, you know we are seeing. Right at room, what will be the focus areas going forward? Are there specific areas that you've marked out as these will be the most important uh, for you to focus on uh, for the next coming uh, couple of months? Absolutely. So, so Priya, uh, you know, if you allow me, I would like to just mention, first, we build uh, India's first ever e-commerce platform for automobile. Travel is 80% online. Smartphone is 60% online. Even, uh, even fashion and beauty is 8 to 12% online. But when we started Doom, automobile was not online. So we built an e-commerce platform. Then in order for a digital shift to happen, we started building... Uh, one by one, various vertically integrated services such as a pricing engine, inspection engine, used vehicle historical record engine, loan and insurance, uh, and last mile delivery. 
So this is how we kind of build the e-commerce platform with all the ecosystem services around it. In the in the nowadays, uh, our focus is: uh, can we attach loan and insurance when you buy an automobile from Broom? And if we are successful, this can theoretically double our margins. Second is: can we can we provide uh, in New Delhi and multiple other large cities in metros primarily? We have a very nice last mile fulfillment delivery service. Can we have that? We are, but we are present in 1157 cities. So can we have that? How quickly can we have that service with equal quality and bells and whistles available in all 1150 cities? Uh, third is, you know, we are primarily a technology platform. We don't have in our own inventory or physical stores. So can we keep on? Are you, uh, you know, can we keep on upgrading our technology and computing infrastructure? in the time when we talk about metaverse, web, web 3.0, AI and ML. So constantly upgrading our technology infrastructure. And finally, when the time is right, uh, Priya, we would expand, we will re-pick up our international expansion, which we put on hold uh, during the two years of COVID. Right, uh, you know, for these kind of aggressive plans, I'm sure you're looking at some uh, good amount of investment as well. Has there been an amount that has been outlined? I do understand that you are in the stage of an IPO at this point, but any ballparks in terms of what kind of investment um, has been uh, sort of planned for this kind of aggressive expansion? Uh, see, uh, Priya, uh, yes, because of IPO, there are constraints in terms of what I can talk uh, and what I cannot talk. So, you know, uh, in our IPO, uh, you know, we have, uh, it's a 3,000 crore rupees uh, IPO uh, where we will be raising 3,000 3, crore rupees. 1,000 crore rupees is OFS, which will go to existing shareholders and uh, ex, uh, investors. But 2,000 crore rupees, we have provided the allocation in our DRHP. Uh, and a lot of that will go into organic growth, some for the technology, uh, some for acquisitions and some for international expansion. These are the four, uh, four uh, specific, uh, four uh, broader buckets. Uh, but still, I would say out of these 2,000 crore, a bulk of that will still go into organic uh, growth. Uh, and uh, maybe, uh, you know, exact numbers are there in DRHP. And I'm sorry, I don't remember on top of my heart. But beyond, uh, you know, so this is how we plan to kind of allocate the capital. Right. You know, you mentioned that uh, m and is going to be one. Uh aspect that you'll be considering? Are there any areas specifically where you'll be looking at exploring uh, any potential deals? In? Absolutely. Uh, 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 Priya, in the, in the last three years, we have done two or three acquisitions. Uh, so primarily, we have grown through organic growth, uh, but we acquired one NBFC three years back. We acquired a couple of small te technology tuck-in acquisitions. Uh, but uh, but you know uh, we are constantly looking for uh, anything which helps us to uh, increase our exposure in the loan and insurance segment that is very very lucrative um, and second is uh, anything which helps us uh, to get into uh, content and digital marketing uh, third is uh, we'll be looking for any kind of technology play for the automobile vertical so it could be telematics it could be some kind of AI ML or some kind of metaverse or augmented reality type of technologies. Uh, and uh, other would be really, uh, you know, someone who's doing something in automobile. Our team is great, maybe not funded well, struggling, but the talent, you know, for talent. So these would be the four areas where we'll, uh, we are very, very actively uh, looking for the uh, potential candidates. Right. And that note, Sandeep, thank you very much for joining us today. We wish you all the very best in your journey and look forward to your IPO coming very soon. Thanks for your time.